Hello everyone, my name is Cameron. Welcome back to the Cyberpunk 2077. Let's play this episode four. We're getting back after Jackie. Give me the ride home. Um. Let's go with that one. Weird. We're gonna put the revolver in there. Uh, we'll put that pistol in there. And then we'll put that revolver in there as well. I love how the uncommon one's worse, somehow. So can I actually, like, set my guns up in this now? <gasps> well, I can, sweet, okay. Got the double barrel, and then we'll go for the assault rifle. <clears throat> we got a hat. Oh, we got a few hats actually. We got a shirt, I think, right? Yeah. We got anything else? No. And no. Okay. Special. Nothing. Lower body stuff. These pants. Ooh, we actually did get some different pants. Holy shit. Okay. And we got a few new shoes too. Alright. Let's go to bed. It is saving. Act one. Am I dressed at least? Okay. I am in fact dressed. We got messages. Buy two tickets at third for free. A bunch of random shit. Scam thing. Okay, interesting.
Oh shit, you can actually shower. Alright, that's cool. Um, what is that? Oh, I can just sit. Okay. Didn't I get... There was something in my journal, wasn't there? Messages? No, it was, shard. it was a shard, wasn't it? There it is. Okay. We're not gonna read that shit. There's not, that's not that important to me right now. Ah. I guess we can actually. One sec. Hold up. Let me see what we got. Yeah, this isn't really that important to me, so we'll continue on. Sure, why not? Interesting. So you can do boxing fights, that's cool. Alright, couple words about who you're going up against. Kabuki won't spoil us, just come and see. Ariel, Buck, Six Street Gangs, Ganger, Real POS, Glenn, Caesar. Fists like fucking hammers. And we'll call it Brian, a woman's legend. Lays everyone flat. Okay. Gun. Oh, that too.
You're searching an iconic, or an iconic item along with a set of crafting specs. You can use them to craft better quality versions of this item with a new version of an iconic item crafted. The original item is destroyed. Iconic items can be, uh, also be upgraded just like regular weapons or pieces of clothing. Upgrading improves the levels and stats, ensuring they remain useful as you progress through the game. Sweet. Was I supposed to meet him down here? I'm assuming it's the town tangents, right? Fixers, these intermediaries will inform you about local gigs available. Gigs, fixers will contact you when you approach gigs location. NCPD scanner hustles, the NCP will pay you to help fight crime. Interesting. <laughs> How'd you manage this dumbass? Trading your spleen or something? Of course I know we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You know me? But D Buck, she's the one that looked us up. Got us talking. What was a done deal of all the time? Come on. Ain't nobody who can resist this. Sure, buddy. Sure. <laughs> sure, yeah. So what the hell's the job? What's the game? You meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. But no pressure, but uh, this whole deal is right in the middle of the same. Wait, why me? Why do I gotta go? T Bug throws straws without me? T Bug and Dex go way back. My face was yesterday's news. Oh, Dex says he needs to check you. His rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. That's exactly why I'm worried. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against Andre or Kako. Thanks, 
Jack. Much appreciated. You can call your active vehicle to your current location with. Okay. Top notch work, Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. Are we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new. I mean, it looks nice. The car personally isn't my style, but. that this game doesn't have third person at least in the cars like it's very difficult sometimes driving first person in cars and video games you don't really see where you're going It's still a dangerous and invasive dangerous and invasive procedure which can only be performed by qualified specialists ripper docs there are several ripper docs operating throughout night city who offer a variety of different cyber upgrades select your desired cybernetic upgrade from the list and enjoy your new abilities Vicky's Vicky's rise rise every old ripper. it's good, good to see you good to see you too oh, wow. what, do what do i owe the pleasure to Last game, Jack and Klein's neurosock. I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraine, nausea, hypersensitivity, bright lights. Oh, kid, boo. All right, kid. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Had a new fix. You gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshaun. Oh, Klein, from the afterlife. Denying you're moving on up. But you're not telling me, Vic. Keep you guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Sounds about right. Needs a new kid, but the two is not toys. Baby. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally. Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean. Hit the major leagues. Any tech could perform. The Dexter Deshaun. Uh, <laughs> Might as well steal whatever I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Enough. You peruse and choose while I stand. 
see what's going on inside. Cybernetic implants are mechanical replacements for the organic parts of your body. They can give you superhuman-like abilities, which can improve your combat capability and help you survive in hazardous conditions. Although a common practice in 2077, the installation of cyborg is still an invasive and sometimes dangerous medical procedure. Only specialists known as Ripper Docs are trusted to install cyborg safely. Okay, so clearly, obviously, we're going to take the eye that he gave us. Oh, okay. Ballistic. Increases the chance to reach your shots with power weapons. Directly links the user's optical implant to weapon system offering real time data. Try hell yeah. So we have some stuff here. Okay. Shut up, cat. Jesus. Okay, those are car street cred. Damn. Uh, we got stuff in. Okay, so we can get some armor. You don't have enough money. Okay, so I actually do need the money for the rest of the shit. So the other things I can actually get right now are the hands and the eyes, it looks like. So let's let's keep kind of taking the idea, though, to get what... Memory boost, RAM upgrade, okay. We do have a few operating systems. So we have the Militech Paraline. We can also get the Stevenson Tech Mach 3 and the Tetronic Circulatory System. We got some Adrenaline Booster, a Tyrosine Injector, a Micro Generator, a Feedback Circuit, Immune System, nothing to install. Uh, nervous System, we can install... Ooh, aim and shoot while dodging. Interesting. Uh, Subdermal armor, grounded plating, skeleton. Oops, I didn't mean to click the hand. Skeleton. Titanium bones. Okay, we can get better, stronger bones. Uh, projectile launch system, mono wire, mantis blades, gorilla arms, and then legs. The options we have are reinforced tendons and fortified ankles. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the tops of the built in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. Your body will still, still show up as crystal clear. clear. Got it. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talk to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Cork away. Excellent. Let's do this. So, what's new in the life of Victor Tech? Yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. It's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. What happened? <laughs> One day I just dropped it and never looked back. I'm not going to be a legend in this time. I've been sleeping nights ever since. Just, Just like, like that. that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic. I can start with that. Feel anything? Same as always. I don't feel a thing. You ask me that every time. I don't think things are going to be any different today. I think it did. I mean, not like there's any risk of a stroke or paralysis, but what do I know? Just a doctor. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I don't like things going near my eyes in real life. It's very difficult to see that. Oh, this is uncomfortable to watch. Game people with your optical cyborg can provide you with a lot of useful information such as how strong an enemy might be, who's in their crew, or what type of weapon they use. As a skilled net runner, you can see a list of quick hacks which you can use against your enemies. Do well. <laughs> you know exactly what they did well. 
Database for individuals bounties assigned to them is now available to use. You can identify these wanted persons with your scanner. Since all are wanted dead or alive, the methods you use to claim your reward are entirely up to you. Interesting. <laughs> it ought to work like a jar. Oh, that's weird looking. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new site. Holy shit. Oh, that's nice. How about the neurovirus? Last job. Check it. Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. Had a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Is that the critter? You're a certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say so you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stim. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again. You're the best. I owe you. Go on. Show them what you made. And once you hit your baby, forget where you came. Oh my god, there's a cat. I can pet a cat. Oh, the Siamese. I hate Siamese cats, man. They're freaky looking. Fuck. That was weird. Alright, hold up. Let's go to the journal. We figure out what we Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna track this job. Maybe I should have talked to him first, I guess. I don't know. God damn it, Regina, what? Hold up. I don't want to meet with Dex. I want to go do this fucking mission, you stupid thing. Jesus. Game? Crack. For a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate for a max attack against the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. <clears throat> there are various ways to incapacitate pass the enemies without killing them. Not only the takedowns, not only the quick acts, not only the weapons, EMP grenades, and some combat gadgets. Weapon mods that change damage to non-lethal. If given weapon, combat gadget, or quick hack deals non-lethal damage, it will be mentioned in the description. Wonderful. Yeah, again, I really wish there was third person on the driving, at the very least. It bugs me that there's not. Um, but that's going to do it for this episode, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to... I think I'm going to finish driving to where I got to go for this mission. And then uh, I'll, I'll pick it back up for the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay golden. Peace.